Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the greatest show on your headphones. All right, this is the Beers of Brian podcast, uh, another electric episode. I think this one's going to clear out January, so open February on your schedules. There's more content coming. Okay, folks, for this podcast, I've got one of the most genuine and best people that I have ever known um, on here with me today. Guys, it's been a while since, uh, or ever, since uh, this person and I have had a little one-on-one. And if you're on YouTube, you already know who it is. If you're listening on Anchor app, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, anything right there where you find your podcasts, you're not going to know until I tell you that Jackie Moss has joined us on the pod. Mono E. Mono. Moss. Wah, 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 wah. What's up, boss? Talk to me What's going on? Talk to me, Slime. What's going on? Talk to me. Yeah, man. I'm pumped to be here, man. I'm up here in the high country. You know, about 33, about 3,000 up. No, 33,000 up, bro. About 33,000 up. We're recording from airplanes, bro. Three, 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 three. three. Come on with me. We in airplanes, baby. Hey, I just know I love it. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Ready to bring in this new year right yeah yeah as you guys can tell look it's hard to record podcasts and then let release them or whatever okay we're recording this on new year's okay so a new year's eve so i hope everybody has a uh in the future had a good new year all right so moss and i are getting turned up because new year's is upon us and well, i'm not getting too turned up i gotta drive moss hey drive. man dog where are you heading to man I'm going down to a city called Chaska, Minnesota, Chaska. which is uh, which. If morons here, Chaska's over there. No, it's it's like an hour and twenty minutes south of us. It's it's west of the cities, north of uh, north of uh, your ass. Nah, you know, right yeah, there, yeah. right yeah. next to your old Chaska. Yeah, you know, Chaska. the Chaskians call it Chaska. Oh yeah. man. Chaska sounds like a practice squad receiver just trying to make it. Brad Chaska. Yeah, Brad Chaska. That's yeah. it. <laughs> He's a hell that's, of a quarterback out of Montana that, State. Dude, that's not, yeah, a converted quarterback to receiver in the pros or on the practice squad. Yeah, what do you think of hey, uh, Bill? What do you think about this bad Brad Chaska guy? Huh? What do you think about him? You know, he fucking uh, he, he won the good old uh, the punt, kick, and throw contest back in 83, but we'll see, you know. We'll yeah, see. he was he was the MWC Player of the Year. He's the uh, Mountain West Conference Player of the Year with uh, with Montana State. Um, and that what you said, Montana State. Yeah, Montana State. <laughs> Fresh out. He was a six year Fresh senior. Out. Yeah, Brad Chaska has he graduated with two two degrees. One is in broadcasting, <laughs> and the others in uh, um, the others in it's uh, medical sports science or some shit. Exactly. You know? And then, and then in like ten years, when he doesn't make the not ten years, let's go five. Brad Chaska doesn't make the uh, the NFL. Hello, everybody. Brad Chaska here, brought to you by uh, Nokia. Nokia phones here at the Cotton Bowl, where <laughs> Cincinnati and Alabama are going at it. Brad Chaska here. Uh, oh who? man, who's Brad Chaska's sidekick? Who's his? Who's his his sidekick? Oh man, Chad it's Braska. Got, uh, it's got to be uh, Brett Farva. Brett Farva. Yeah, everyone yeah. gets confused. He's not the quarterback. <laughs> no, no, yeah. It's you pronounce this guy's name correctly, Farva. Farbury. Yeah, yeah. Farbury. But everyone yeah. thinks he's that guy, so he gets nothing but attention every time. Oh my god. It's like you're Brett Far No. Are you Brett Farv? No, I'm I'm twelve years old. No, I'm yeah. not. I'm just I'm Brad Chaska's kid. Okay. <laughs> What the fuck are we talking about? Dude, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just happy you're going down to Chaska, man. You know, that's, hello that's... everybody. I'm Brad Chaska <laughs> here at the Cotton Bowl in Alabama. Uh, with Cincinnati uh, playing Alabama, it's ten to three right now, starting the second quarter. I'm just kidding. I do. I do have the game on. That's why you guys know that it's uh, New Year's Eve. And Jack and I just, most of I just want to say, hey, let's let's hop on a pod real quick. Let's try to do a little something, talk a little shit. Brad Chaska is a new created player now on every video game. I'm ever going to play from here on out. Oh, dude. Um, the legend oh, of Brad Chaska is going to be the name of this pod. I don't know why it would be named anything else. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you could. I mean, the guy threw for 116 yards in his debut and then yeah. threw two picks, but he also rushed for 250 yards. It was incredible. Never seen something like it. Yeah. And they didn't run the triple option. They didn't. Not at all. Yeah. 
it's, they didn't even, it's, it's they spread didn't off one. They didn't call one play for him to run the ball, <laughs> but he just kept taking it. It's a spread offense. They never run the ball. They don't even have a running back on the roster. They have a receiver hopping the backfield with them. Yeah, and uh, Brad Chaska just was a maniac on the <laughs> couldn't stop him. Montana. <laughs> Montana State alum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They uh, they played North Dakota State in the uh, Division Two slash Division Three slash Division Four championship. Exactly. <laughs> there is a Division Four. Do you think we would have made Division Four football? We probably could have made Division Three, huh? What are you talking about Montana State? You and I and Brad Chaska. Oh, shoot. We easily could have been in that. <laughs> Brad Chaska, with him leading us, I'll go anywhere. <laughs> Do you think I would have been a Heisman Trophy and uh, a wide receiver with Brad Chaska throwing, running me the ball? Well, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say no, because he was uh, more one of those guys that kept it for himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Brad Chaska, the running back quarterback. Um, every NFL analyst would call him Lamar Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. I'm oh, excited, man. dude. I'm pumped up. I mean, I've been in a good mood all day. You know, you wake up. I told I told Chloe this morning or last night, I was like, I would love to just sleep in, right? When's yeah. last time? I, and I don't get to sleep in because we got the pubs and, you know, obviously work and stuff. But I got to sleep in an hour, eh, like an hour and a half later than usual. Dude, when I tell you I woke up with, like, the best mindset, like, that hour and a half extra, like, really just set me over the top. I've been, I've been juicing and jazzing all day. Dude, you can hear the birds fucking chirping out there, the bees going around, even though it's negative two there. It's yeah, dude, we don't incredible. have birds. <laughs> Seriously, there's no birds. They all went no. south, dude. They all Are went t- south for the winter. There's not a single bird? You don't think one's just perched up somewhere? What about the <laughs> <laughs> that middle bird? Bird, 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 yeah, bird. No, there's bird. not. A, I mean, we got some uh, some eagles out here. I'm sorry if you heard the dog, but we do got a bald eagle. We saw two of them uh, in September. Holy shit! You telling me you got you got bald eagles' nests just perched? Uh not a nest because uh, they would. Uh, Dude, we we had a spotting of bald eagles at the power line. You'll see it, or you already have seen it. Uh, yeah. Power line in our yard, and it's I mean it's every bit a hundred feet up. But bald eagles go there and they perch this one time. We were looking up like, holy shit, there's two bald eagles. Your boy has never seen a bald eagle before, right? Yeah. Apparently, I... apparently they are just they're in Minnesota. I've seen five since I've been here in July. Since July, okay. And uh, we they they were here for so long. We had to do research on if they could pick up our puppies or not, like with their claws. All right, I don't know if they're getting mauer. <laughs> they're not. They're not getting. They're not getting either dog. They're a lot weaker than you think. Ironically, those things are sharp. How many? How many pounds? How how big as as far as weight do you think a bald eagle could pick up? I'm gonna go seventeen. Seventeen. I wish you were right. The the maximum weight the bald eagle can put in its its feet talons is about six pounds. Damn, that's that seems light, doesn't it? It does seem slight. I mean, I guess if you think they're they're what they're eating is mostly like you know fish and whatever shit that you know can go in there and get. What else? Do, what else do bald eagles eat? They eat like any other eagle. I guess no, so. I don't think they've eaten another eagle. Do you think? Uh, do you think they use like what's what's that? Uh. Just for men, you think they go on there? You're just like, what, what's the what's the thing called for their baldness? Uh, losing your hair? <laughs> <laughs> hey, talk to talk to Brad Jaska over here. <laughs> fight milk, <laughs> fight milk, uh, fight like a crow, um, dude. Yeah, I don't know what bald eagles. They're not really bald though. That's the thing. Why are they called bald eagles? Because their head's white. I don't know why they're called bald eagles, but they're not really bald because they're white heads. It's actually they got, like they got cul de sacs. That's what you're saying. They got some cul de sacs up there. Uh, some of the older ones may. may, some, may. Of the, some of the older ones might have a hair, hair cul de sac. Um, how crazy would that be if like uh, bald eagles? I, I mean, are there any bald eagles in the zoo? I don't think. I, I feel like since it's like a a national 
like bird. a protected bird. Like, yeah. like I don't, I don't, I don't, I believe there are some like I don't think it would be zoo more likes like for the public, but they're definitely because I'm pretty sure they're endangered. I, I think they are. Yeah, not here. Jesus Christ, they're <laughs> fucking everywhere. But yeah, yeah. none of yeah. they are, they probably are endangered. I was just asking because, like, as far as zoo upkeep, do yeah. you think that some of the people working at the zoo give them hair for men, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, the, if they watch them, it's like head and shoulders, some like really, really moisturized uh, shampoo. Dude, I could, I just imagine it where they just go in there and they got a barber chair and they're just like, hey, yeah, come on in. Yeah. <laughs> And just pull it around. I'm just like, what are you thinking? Oh, off the top? All right. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Yeah. All right. That'll be $55. <laughs> I don't care if you left your wallet. You're going to pay me. <laughs> Look, if you can't pay, you're going to get in the back. You're going to clean out the spray bottles. All right. <laughs> oh, dude, that reminds me of that. Uh, what is it? Coming to America, where it's like, give me something. You know the scene where the barbershop got all the Eddie Murphy's like, yeah, 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 give yeah. me something, uh, maybe maybe like, and he just looks at his hair, you know, he sees the, the one little braid he's got, and he's just like, <laughs> all right, that'd be that'd be thirty five dollars. That is hilarious. Yeah, that's hilarious, dude. Oh, how man. would uh, I mean. Yeah, bald eagles obviously don't get haircuts, but yeah. I, I'm assuming I'm assuming the United States tracks them somehow, right? Um, I bet like there's not, I, I don't know the exact numbers on it, but they definitely probably tag. Oh, them. put a number, put a number on it. It's a comedy podcast. Put a number on it. How many? Seventeen. How many bald eagles there are in the United States? Sure. sure. What? 19, 20, 22? something like that. Oh, dude, I'd say at least at least a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. Yeah, there's probably. I would say, I would, no I'll idea. tell you this bold, bold prediction here. I would say, I would say most of them are between Chicago, Seattle, and north of like Kansas City. Like, I, I would say it's in, it's in only in the area that I'm in and west. Yeah, I mean, because there's, there's, there's no big. I mean, dude, I've, I've nothing but watched the news since I've been up here. Yeah. And the way a storm, and this sounds, I, I have aged myself 15 years with this shit, but the way the storms go through, like Montana and the Dakotas, as quick yeah. as they do, there's not shit over there. It's just like, you got, <laughs> what, you got the, uh, oh my god, I feel not un-American knowing the, um, the fucking mountains with the presidents in it. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore, dude. You've got that, and then that's it. That is yeah. out that way, and then, you know. Whatever Billings and all those Yellowstone people and bro, have, have you have you gotten to a point where like sixty five percent of your small talk is about the weather? Yes, dude, <laughs> dude. I, oh, Chloe, Chloe and I watch the weather every morning. That's where I first knew that I was getting older. Uh, yeah, um, but like, yes, a lot of actually, ironic that you say that. Somebody I work with, we're working on this big project, and every time we meet. Apparently, I have like not even thought about it and have mentioned the weather. Like, as a <laughs> like, all right, guys, I gotta go push the snow out of the sidewalk. All right, guys, I gotta go blow the snow out of the driveway. And just not even knowing about it. And she hit me the other day and she goes, You gotta go move some snow. And I was like, Oh shit. She goes, That's your tagline now. I was like, Oh, all right, well, I gotta stop talking about that shit. Yeah, dude, I like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the damn, the weather is. What I talk about is that just you think that is it something where, uh, you know, because you would think like me living up in the mountains, I would, you know, check the weather about the other day. I mean, it's it was almost it's like 60 degrees here. Right. right. It's it's wild. And so I, right. I haven't been checking the weather in a, in a little while. But do you think it's just something you just do when you when you get married and you're just kind of out here just like, all right, yeah, you know, let me just check the weather. You know, let's just see what the, have you seen that system coming in? Yeah, my God! What's gonna happen is they're gonna bring the low pressure from the northwest of Canada down east towards Minnesota. It's gonna hit the high pressure coming north of Mexico. They're gonna meet right at Iowa. They're gonna cause tornadoes, dude. I'm telling you, yes. So 
I think one reason I keep up with the weather and also why I filled is because up here it snows every like two oh. or three days. Dude, holy shit. I just got it, man. That's your alter ego. Brad Chaska, the weatherman. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Chaska and weather. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's real windy here, folks. It's, uh, it's crazy. <laughs> You got the guy behind you that's like, oh, yeah, no, I don't know what he's talking about. Just walking. Yeah. It's not even that windy. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> folks, Brad Chaska here with Channel 9 News, Minneapolis. Uh, we're going to have a low pressure coming up from Iowa with a high pressure coming down from Canada. Everybody in the International Falls area can expect about 6 to 12 inches of snow. Here in the Twin Cities, we're going to get about 4 to 5 inches of snow. Lower southern Minnesota, about 1 to 2 inches of snow. And, you know, talking about pressures, let's talk about Mike Zimmer. He's got a lot of pressure on him. And here's yeah. Dick with sports. <laughs> hey, look, man, I think uh, the sports is great, all right? And uh, I don't really know anything else about sports. Zimmer should be fired. I don't know what kind of voice I'm trying to do. Yeah, it sounded like a mix between Charles Barkley and uh, – <laughs> oh, come on, man. That's terrible. That's terrible. And uh, Cleveland from the, from the family guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Fader. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Branch has good sports. Weather shit. Weather. Weather. <laughs> hey, you could do sports too. I mean, oh. It was it was a one time third team all American at Montana State. <laughs> yeah. I used to play quarterback receiver back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> it changes every time you ask about it. Yeah, I used to play kicker, long snapper, and quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was uh, offense coordinator and uh, left tackle. So wait, how are you the long snapper and the kicker at the same time? <laughs> well, it was a bit of a Bugs Bunny situation. Yeah, uh, it snapped it, ran, snapped it straight up in the air, ran back, caught it, and I, I didn't even catch it. Actually, I just kicked it right out of the air. Dude, I always thought about the coyote man. That poor yeah. bastard. Just, it, just it, it, those those cartoons are so like death defyingly murderous like they are oh yeah all about killing each other dude i mean he's setting off like like two tons of tnt dynamite ends up getting crushed by a boulder like yeah like you get the road runner over here just fucking and like gone goes in through me, a me. Match, go, yeah me, me. goes through the me, me. goes through the wallpaper and then this guy yeah. who runs out there boom smack on his face yeah it's like dude like, come on. This guy, yeah. he can't catch a break. This guy is defying the laws of physics, and this guy is just, just trying to catch a road run. Dude, literally the entire Looney Tunes. Like, they have they have uh, Elmer Fudd. He's out to kill Bugs Bunny. Yeah. That's the whole purpose of Elmer Fudd in the cartoons. And these are cartoons you watch as a kid. Yeah. Could you imagine that shit going on now? <laughs> Dude, imagine, like, can you imagine, like, a real-life version? Like, 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 per, like, not animated. Like, no. Like, like no. He actually had a guy out here and like a CGI bunny. Well, we saw that in Space Jam. I have yet to watch it. I don't want to watch it. No, I, I know one. I should. Oh, no. oh, part one. No. Sorry, sorry. Fucking. I'll go. Ahead. Hold on, hold on. Part. I, I don't. Th I think we've talked about this in the pod before. I believe part we have. Two, the the second Space Jam. I would rather get my uh my toes cut off and surgically replaced as my eyeballs then watch space jam part two it's horrible dude it is like that's just my opinion look go watch it if you want i made it through 15 minutes and i was like this is made for a three-year-old yeah and like space michael jordan space jam was made for like a 10 to 15 25 sometimes a 28 year old i will watch that shit right now yeah, I just don't. Some things you just don't make. It doesn't need a sequel. Like it, all right. that showed me was a ploy to make more money. Right. That, that's all that was for me. Because yeah, if if anything, what I would rather have them done would just done like a twenty, would just done done like an anniversary, you know, for Space Jam One, and and being like done like a extended behind the scenes director's cut, all that right. Space Jam One, instead of ever even making a fucking Space Jam Two. Yeah, just like replay it. <laughs> yeah, just just rerun it back. 
Yeah. Dude, I was at the movie theaters uh, last night. Went and saw yeah, Spider, uh, Spider-Man Spider No Way Home. Terrific. 10 out of 10. Oh, 10, 10 out of 10? Out of, I've heard 10, 10 out of 10. 10. Like, dude, it is like... Don't even know how to explain. It's I'm, I've seen a good amount of Marvel movies, but this one, it not to have any spoilers, but OG Spidey is back. Nice, dude. He makes an appearance. So, a spoiler. You know, it's it's I'm it's kidding, it's incredible, man. Like I really was a big fan. But I saw when I was leaving the theater that um, Casablanca, the 80th anniversary, is coming to theaters. They're going to oh replay God. Casablanca in theaters from, like, January 6th through, like, the 9th or, like, somewhere around there. Dude, that's got to be a go. That's, that's a must-go-see, right? Right. I mean, in theater. Like, who do you think that audience is for? Like, you're telling me you're going to have a couple, of, like, oh, we're having a hell of a night. Got about 15, 20, 80-year-olds in here. Just Dude, that's a great, that's a great point. Like, you're not obviously if you're 10 years old when that comes out you are you able to are, i mean first 90. off are you still living secondly are you able to make it to a movie theater every movie theater nowadays you have to climb stairs yeah right um wow dude that is like who it, but, it's still in black and white like it's still the same exact movie yeah and if not I, you're 70 years old right you were 10 years old after it came out yeah like you you were born the year it came out, and then, yeah, wow, that would, dude, <laughs> like, like, what? That's, that's a great, uh, that's a good date night to go watch. Let's go see just Casablanca. because it's eighty years old, right? Not like I couldn't just like it's probably on one of these streaming services, but I'm gonna pay twenty two bucks for two tickets to go see this eighty year old movie. Yeah, why, why wouldn't I, I dude? Yeah, why wouldn't I? I mean, shit. Why wouldn't I? There's no way. I mean, who who's in it? Uh, Alfred Hitchcock? I don't know. No, I think he was born in the 40s. <laughs> nah. Well, I, maybe he died in the 40s. I don't know. No idea. I don't know. Are we, uh, Chloe and I went and watched the uh, the third Kingsman movie. The King's Man? Yeah, King's Man. Cool. Dude, I, I want to see that. Is that good? Yeah, dude. It's, uh, so it's, it's uh, I was uh, telling Chubbs. It's the prequel of the the two movies that are already out. Right. It's set back in the day. Set back in World War One. That's cool. Not two. One. Just oh damn. Yeah. Damn. Because you got you got to think the uh, uh, Americans aren't in World War One until they get called into basically. Yeah. And World War Two, we're you know obviously we're at the at the front of that. Um, yeah. Pearl Harbor. But yes, I would. It's a little slow. The Kingsman, the third one, it's a little slow in the beginning, but the action makes up for it. Um, there's a lot of a lot of good twists and turns, and it's a great movie. I mean, that franchise, dude. I'd say franchise because they're coming out with a, a fourth movie. Yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be great. I mean, right? It, it's good. Now, do you go to theaters to see this, or is this at the at age the dog? Dude, Chloe, I, Chloe, and I had. Uh, Mon uh, like a random Monday off and right. just went at like noon, so we had almost had the theater to ourselves. Um, there was like two or three other couples in there, but you know, yeah, those are climbing. Those are climbing theaters, dude. That's that's underrated. Every theater now is going recliner. Dude, I have not. So we went to the good old Regal here in Boone. Oh. Was not the case. Was not the case at all. But I even I was talking to Cheyenne about this, and I was just like, we looked it up. I was looking through some other Marvel movies. It was nineteen ninety nine to rent here at home. It was twenty two bucks for two tickets, and I told her I was just like, you know, the fact that I even paid thirty bucks to go there and do it, besides yeah. just paying twenty and seeing it here, way worth it. The experience alone, like that's why yeah. I don't think theaters can die. I mean, they, like, they are. It's a different experience, you know. Especially with the fancier ones, like, you know, you get the button on the thing, and you get whatever, they get the waiter come over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, can I have the, can I have the soup of the day? Yeah. <laughs> Sir, what do you mean soup of the day? <laughs> well, can I, have I a, see the soup du jour is on the menu. <laughs> can I have a super salad? Sir, yeah. it's soup or salad. Oh, 
All right. Oh. I'll, just, I'll just have nuggets. <laughs> I was going to say, the soupy salad sounded really weird, but uh, yeah, I'll take a cheeseburger. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, the movie theater experience is something that you're right. I don't think it's ever going to die, and I don't think it should, because uh, you can't get that sound in your house. You cannot, unless you like professionally get people to come in. You can't get the the sound, the the bass of the. I mean, dude, you're sitting in a in a fucking room that is bigger than my house. Yeah, with speakers that are bigger than the room that I'm in. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like it was- realistically. Yeah, it was blaring when I was in there. Not gonna lie, I was, I was, at one point I was just kind of like, "Can we just turn it down just a little bit?" <laughs> it's, like, it's a little loud. Gee, see, that's when you know you're getting old too. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Shit, twenty-three These years damn old. Kids dog. and their volume, I swear. Man, I had a coworker, and this is this threw me off. My coworker is probably in her forties and or you know late thirties, and she was just like, "You on TikTok?" I was just like, no. And she was like, oh, you got you got to get on TikTok. I'm like, you're telling me to get on TikTok? It's like, wow. So she she wants to show me this one video. And it's a video of, you know, husband talking to his wife. And he's just like, hey, what's the difference between my wiener and my bonus check? You'll actually blow my bonus check. <laughs> She showed you that? <laughs> she showed me that. I work, man. I laughed. It was funny as hell. It was just like man, that is that's hilarious. That's that's hilarious, right? But yeah. Who is she to show you that? I know, right, dude. I just get done going in from delivery. She's working the front desk. I think there might yeah. be a customer coming in, and then she's just like, hey, you gotta yeah. look at this. Let's watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's always I, I hear a lot of people always talk about that though when you show somebody something of like yeah hey check this shit out and then you like look at them to like hey you think it's funny huh are yeah. you laughing yet huh? like, wait, wait, wait see I have a problem with doing this to Chloe I'm like wait for wait for the punchline yeah just wait for it see I do that shit all the time and then I get pissed at myself because I'm like that's the point of a punchline it's like for the build up the anticipation and then for them not to know it's coming. Yeah. But yeah, it's like it's like somebody say, Hey, check out what's on my phone and then or you know, and they're they're just like sitting there like, Oh, your reaction better be fucking good or I'm gonna get embarrassed. Exactly. It's just like you better laugh, you better have the same sense of humor as me. I I've definitely yeah. done it. You've I know you've gotta do it before where if someone shows you something and you're just like, Oh dude, this is not funny at all, but you do that fake laugh. <laughs> That's a good totally, one. Totally, dude. That's a good one. Totally. Oh, I don't think right, I don't think anybody I don't think anybody in this world can uh, sit here and honestly say that they have not fake laughed at somebody for something. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I don't know who's like I don't know who's balls enough to have them show them something or like give a joke and be like, no, that was not funny. I did not that no. <laughs> that was not no. Don't show me that again. What you just showed me was quite honestly the uh, the least funniest thing I've ever seen. I think you're a boring person and you should fuck off. <laughs> Nobody's saying that but Gordon Ramsay, dude. Oh man. It's fucking right, raw. Who wins in a fight? Gordon Ramsay, Simon Cowell. Powell. Sal Cow. I don't know, man. See, here's the thing. I, I think I'm going to have to go with Chef Ramsay just because Simon would lose just because his V-neck is just too long. Like, dude, I, have you seen his deep V? I've seen it. Bro, I've his, seen it. his deep V gets longer. Like, I don't think he's even doing America. I don't know what he does anymore. But when he was on American Idol and, like, back in, like, the first couple of seasons were out, I just remember seeing him each season. It kept getting longer. It kept yeah. being a deeper V. Like, yeah. dude. What, are you stretching these yourself? Who is selling this guy Deep V? I thought he just had like his wife's shirt on or some shit. Cause it's like, no, dude, one time, yeah, one time it was so deep, I saw his belly button. Yeah, exactly. It, it was, it, you can't handle this midriff. <laughs> no, you know, he's, um, I don't know if you know, he's doing um, Britain's Got Talent. No. So he's still, he's still doing like the judgy, judgy shows, but he's doing Britain's Got Talent. Um, I don't know, dude. I, Simon's got a way about him. Yeah, Gordon's a little more aggressive. I'll give you that. But yeah. Simon, Simon is more passive aggressive. Yeah. 
He like, just, you know, you're fucking stupid. I don't have to tell you. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, but yeah. I mean, I don't know. If I got to put money on a fight between them two, I, I, I don't know. I'd pick a tie almost. Like, I, I mean, that's tough. I, I just feel like if, all right, do either one of them get weapons? No, dude. Straight, straight 19, 1975, straight up just. No, they had not. No, they didn't. I mean, <laughs> they had on, sorry, sorry. 1492, Gordon Ramsay versus Simon. Dude. Fuck. Dude, just say I'm no weapons, weapons man. <laughs> just say no weapons, dog. Right. Exactly. No weapons. No weapons. I, I'm still just, I, I'm still Gordon, going. Gordon is Gordon. more aggressive. Yeah. He's more aggressive. He just seems to know, like, I don't know. Th- this guy can, can, he knows how to handle knives, even though he doesn't got weapons. It's just like, he just knows how to. I feel like he he's that guy that just knows some secret shit that you wouldn't think yeah. he would know. You Simon's know just, over here, just like, oh, I would punch you, but I don't want to punch you because you're an idiot. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, yeah, exactly. You you know what I just thought about is that Gordon is aggressive and and rude for a reason, but still gets respected. Whereas Simon is aggressive and rude, but may not get the respect Gordon does. What do you think yeah. about that? I, I had to agree. You said, uh, just back to her, you said Simon's doing um, Britain's Got Britain, Talent. Yeah, you know, America's Got Talent. Well, Britain also has talent. Dude, I, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> that kind of stuff always cracks me up because I'm just like, you know what? Let's take this shit somewhere they haven't even thought about. Kenya's dude, Got Talent. Dude, there are. There, so, South Africa has talent. Like, dude, there is like Antarctica's India's Got talent. talent. I'm telling you, I swear to God, there are like, I can give it a goog, but there are like, there are more than just America's Got Talent all like, over the world. I am Australia's I, Got Talent, dude. Swear, it throws me for the loop, man. It's just like, all right, they got talent. Next thing you know, we got the world's got talent. Well, the world does have talent, Moss. Okay. Well, dude, then bring them all together. Well, the world does have to bring them all together. I'm a. I may have to get up and get a bed for Ajino. I think I might do the same. Do we need to pause this real quick? Um, I don't think we can pause the tubes, the YouTube. I don't know how oh, to cut that. Well, I'll, I'll say a little something to the people. You go ahead. You yeah, say back. a little something to the people. All right. A little something to the people. Thanks, Mom. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I hope you all are doing well out there. Uh, you know, I was just... You know, I gave blood the other day, and this was really cool through the blood connection. And I was able to get a $25 or $20, no, $50 Visa e-gift card, a $10 Visa e-gift card, and a $25 uh, Amazon gift card. So that's pretty sweet. If you guys, blood connection, want to give blood, found out I'm O positive. Pretty sweet. Um, Also found out I had COVID. Didn't know that shit. What to do? Give you an antibody test with it. So shout out to Blood Connection. Y'all go give some blood. Do the thing. But I almost passed out. That was the first time ever that I've ever felt the feeling of passing out. It's wild as hell. I never, like, never in my life I ever gone through an experience as so. Sorry to get all hot and sweaty. I just told the guy, I'm just like, hey, uh, I'm getting a little lightheaded. Next thing I know, I'm not speaking as well. And it's like getting all blurry. And it's like, oh, oh here I go. You know, here I go again, White Snake. You feel me? So I'm just like at a loss for words, quite literally, and you know the whole shebang. And so eventually, they end up getting me to come back. You know, they had they got the ice packs on me, fan rolling. It was just a wild experience. I've given this is my fourth time giving blood, and this is the only time it's ever happened to me. I probably shouldn't have had many a beers the night before, but I mean, what are you gonna do? You got to so, yeah, have beer. That was my little thing about giving some blood the other day. So, hey, go to the bloodconnection.org, give some blood, get some money. I'll be right back. Did I, did I hear that you had COVID? Apparently, dude, I got the antibodies test and when I went and gave blood. And so apparently I had it at some point. Don't know when. No clue. But that's are you, that's the. Are you Superman? Dude, I might be. Are I noticed you- that. Are you Superman? 
I am Batman. Oh, you're Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm neither. <laughs> Dude, I'm Superman. I'm telling you though, uh, like I was just saying before, bloodconnection.org. I was able to get $50 Visa electronic gift card, a $10 Visa e gift card, and a $25 Amazon gift card for giving blood. Let's go, dude. Let's go. I That's can't do it, but everybody out there, yeah. if you can give blood, give it because it is uh, going a long way, not just yeah. the $70 in your pocket it's, or $80 I, in your pocket. It's going a long way, baby. I got that O positive blood. So, bro, you are universal, dude, out here. You are Most, literally a unicorn. Yeah. Well, I, O negative is universal. O negative oh. can give it to anyone, but O positive they have them. It's like one of the more common blood types. But O positive they give it to people who, if they're not sure of their blood type, they'll give it to them in trauma and stuff like that. You know, trauma events. But it's one of the first. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of silly, but no, I get it. I'm with you. It's like, uh, yeah. Hey, fuck it. We'll just because uh, I don't know my blood type to be honest. I don't. Yeah, I mean it. it, it, it it's a. It's important to know because, like, I so having O positive, I can only get O positive blood. Like, I can't get any other. I can't get O negative. Totally. Can't get A B A or B. Like, none of that. Yeah, I mean, I can I can make a phone call and figure it out, but uh, I can't. I'm never gonna be able to give blood just because of yeah the whole yeah how I react to it. Um, I was so. I was just telling them, dude. I almost passed out. Like yeah, like it almost happened first time in my life. I just yeah. started. It was a crazy ex- experience, man. Got it all is hot and sweaty, and yep. I started getting blurry. Uh, speech yep. started going away. They said I was getting pale, and they're just like, st- they kept asking me questions, and I was just like, I don't want to answer this. Like, but yeah. I knew I know why they were doing it, but it's like, wow. I luckily didn't yeah. go out of it. I stayed in, but wild experience. Yeah, um, go get you a beer. I'll talk to the people. Bit. That's Moss, man. That, that's my boy right there. Um, that's an O positive math. You know what I'm saying? Um, look, folks, go to wallabyoutfitters.com. Use the promo code Beers with Brian. We cannot forget our sponsors on the show, folks. So that is Wallaby Outfitters, W A L L A B Y O U T F I T T E R S dot com. Use the promo code Beers with Brian. That's B double E-R-S-W-I-P-H-B-R-Y-A-N. Save yourself 10%. Start this year, 2022, off with a fucking bang, people. Hey, look, when you use that promo code, it lets Daniel know that I sent it. Okay, folks, help me help Daniel, help North Carolinians, help everybody, okay? Just like Moss is doing with his blood, yo. Come on. Okay? It's a given like season. Doing with his blood. It's, it's a given season, or, you know... That's the thing too. It's always the given season, right? Absolutely. Look, I believe so. I done muffed up my damn. There you go. I got, I don't, there we go. Right there. There we go. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, flare up, syrup, gear rip. Mm. Stir up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know what? That's dude. I tried to uh, tell you, tell you, boy. I tried to freestyle on a beat, and uh, tough beat. It's tough. It's a tough beat, but I, I will. I will be able to produce something to you. I will be able to get something at you. Yeah, so. I should be uh, seeing them tonight. I just noticed like he went in a booth and did that, and yeah. So like me doing it on my MacBook without all the equipment doesn't sound the same. So I'm. I've been relaying the message. I got to get in the booth with him to lay my verse down. You got a verse though. I got a verse. I got it. I got it written up. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I'm just. I'm just literally playing it like I would uh, play intro for a pod. It doesn't sound bad. I mean, I can. I can lay a beat and then record it on top of it. So. Right. But uh, I'll send. I'll send you something whenever I get some. Cool. The only. The only thing is, I got. I got to be honest. And for people of the pod, Moss has this. Uh, one of his boys, who's a musician, he's got this song out, and he sent it to Jack. And uh, once Jack to once Jack to jump on it, spit a verse or whatnot, and uh, I I don't know if I told you I wanted to spit on it and you send it to him or something, but uh, anyways I got the verse in my possession and I'm gonna spit some facts on it. Um, 
But that's what we're talking about. Moss got a friend. Yeah, I had this idea that I was gonna just send it to uh, send it to UB. I was gonna send it to Russ. I might even fuck around. Send it to Tyler. Like send it. I just want to make it like a ten minute song, and just yeah. just for me to have, and like just yeah. eventually show it to him. And be like, yo, dude, here's what you gave me, and here's what I'm giving back to you. Dude, that is okay. I'll definitely I'll definitely do something for you then. Um, yeah. But uh, so I'm I'm recording it, and I'm like, so. In, in the song, I'm not going to try, I'm trying to not give anything away because it's going to be a bank. Yeah. In the song, the first verse is my man. Yeah. And then it's like, and then it's like a gap. But he's in the song, he says, all right, Moss, or something like that. Like yeah. he shouts you out. So, like, ready for me to go. Yeah, ready for you to go. So, what I've been doing is like, hey, Moss, you mind if I take this one? <laughs> <laughs> like, or something like, hey, big bros have been this. Hey, and then big, that's what I want to be. Yeah, I don't know if uh, I don't know if I'm able. Like, again, I haven't toyed with it too much, but yeah. Um, but yeah, it's freestyle is so much fun, dude. It's it has literally been a favorite pastime of ours. I had to, yeah, a hundred percent. Like, it's been baseball a baseball sucked. Been, baseball, <laughs> yeah. yeah, baseball that is sucked not... for us Alberts kids, but freestyling that's our pastime. Dude, I would have kept with baseball if I didn't have so many shitty kid pitchers back in the day. Fuck baseball, man. I can go to a game, but other than that, it's trash besides playoffs. I mean, it's... I just – why does it have to be – what is it, 162, 182? 100, 162 games, yeah. They basically – so they, they're – I mean, I not to sound stupid, but like the NBA season doubled. So you play everybody in your division – four times in the NBA where well, you play everybody in your division eight times in baseball. That's the numbers are wrong, but you basically double up how many times you play in your division, which is stupid. But I don't know, dude, it gets, it gets people to where they're able, like somebody like it's in the minors, you get them to work out. And then like, they, yeah, you got so. farm teams, you got farm clubs and you got, there's so many levels to that shit. Shout out yeah. to Mill. You know, there's so many levels to it. <laughs> shout out Phillies. Shout out McMill. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. But uh, but freestyling, man, if uh, what I love about freestyling is that you can, with the right technique, the right persuasion, like if you're in sales, you can get somebody who doesn't freestyle to freestyle. Absolutely. Like he literally is just like, hey. All you have to do is think of rhymes, right? You listen to rap music, just do what the rappers do, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's always just, uh, yeah. I always say it's about cadence. Find your cadence. If you if you know how to go with the rhythm, mm -hmm. you know how to go with the rhythm, you can freestyle. Yep. Yeah, dude. That, that that is all it is, man. You just yeah. have to find the beat and know when to yeah, go. know when to get on the beat. Yeah. Did the beat yeah. go off? Then my beat go off. <laughs> and then my heat go off. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna rec I'm gonna record something on that beat and I, I want you to send it to your boy. Or I'll, I'll send it to you and you do whatever it is. Whatever. Yeah. Bro, just send it to Russ. Just go ahead and send it to Russ. Let him just go. Like go put it in Garage Man and then like make the beat longer you know just copy and yeah. paste the section <laughs> okay just, that's so okay so that's what i gotta do it's just dude, copy and dude it's it's like those old uh messages you used to get when you had a flip phone or like slide up man just be like forward this message to everyone your contacts or your mother dies <laughs> <laughs> i know we all I, had that. I will, dude i will i will do that i'm gonna ask everybody <laughs> everybody that i know is freestyles i'm gonna ask uh Oh, dude! If you want, dude. Well, you know what? Let's talk about this after the podcast, huh? After For the sure. Pod, For sure. This. We're gonna Got get off too into it. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna get off topic. Look, Moss. I uh, I'm gonna go to my notes because I I write so much stuff down to talk about um to talk about this you know on this pod and we still have to talk about let's just talk about beers, huh? We haven't talked about beers yeah. yet. I have not. Let's get into beers. What beer? Mine. Mine is. It's going to be uh, – I got a bogey beer. I'll put it that way. Okay. It's not – it's when you're out there shooting 18 holes, bogey's never bad, right? 
Mm. Nice, crisp, refreshing. You know what? Fuck it. I'll just go. I'll just go. Uh, what I've got here, Moss, is a delicacy to the Midwest. Okay. You cannot find it on the East Coast. Can't find it. Can't find it on the West Coast. Okay. It, like, you get, like I said, delicacy to the Midwest. Straight out of Missouri, I believe. Missouri. Um, Missouri. Yeah. Yeah. St. Louis. Or there. <laughs> there. <laughs> that laws and that thing. Shout out, moms. Um, Anyways, from Anheuser Busch, mm. went a little light for this pod because you know what? I got to drive and it's New Year's. Shout out to people living in the past. Come on, <laughs> we living in the future on the Beers Brown podcast. Look, here's the color. It's light. You can almost see right through it, dude. You can literally, if I looked at you, you can literally see my eyeball. Okay. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. Can you? You, got some, you got some sleepies in there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just took a shower. I'm so. <laughs> just playing with you. Uh, uh, anyways, you call them sleepies? No, nah, that's what Cheyenne's been calling them. I, I've, I've always called them little eye boogies. Me and chicks always be adding a Y on the end, dude. Yeah, I know. No, it's called sleep. I got sleep stuck in my eye. Oh, yeah. It's got some sleep in there. Sleepies? Yeah. I'm just fucking with you, man. Uh, anyways. Anheuser Busch got it. It's only a delicacy in the Midwest because you can only find it here. It is the lightest of light beers because I have to drive, folks. I'm trying to be responsible. Four percent alcohol, BV by volume. Look, great golf course beer. Okay. Hey, this is the beer out here that you put a case in the garage and it gets cold. Another life hack that I've learned while living up here. Uh, garage is just as good as a mini fridge, and these are totally shotgunables. Welcome to the podcast, Michelob Golden Ooh. Light. For all my people out there on the East Coast, do not get it confused with Michelob Ultra or Michelob Light. Okay. Go this golden. Is different. This is different. This is the Bud Light of Michelob, basically. Bro, going golden. golden light. So take the Michelob Ultra, take it down a notch or two. And uh, throw a Bud Light in the mix, and that's what you got, okay? I'm going to take a sip. I've been taking sips. I'm going to take another sip for the people at home, okay? Hey, go ahead. You know, I'm always a fan of light beers. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chubbs would appreciate if we gave our beers a a Chubbs scale. Um, Of course. Of course. I'm going to give this a full Chubb, okay? Full chub it. Look, here's my reason. Here's my defense. Okay. Damn, full chub. Full chub. Look, what do you, Moss? Let me ask you, and you answer me. What do you want in the light beer? Um, I want it, you know, smooth. I need it to be smooth, not too hoppy. Yeah. And I need it to, you know, honestly, be refreshing. I need it to be that drink at summer that best suits. Rather than like a sweet tea, a lemonade, no, no, no. I need a, I need a cold beer. I don't need to yep. get too messed up, but I need it to be refreshing. Dude, that is exactly what you're going to get with this golden light, dude. It is literally, when you think of like going out on the boat, going out on the lake, going to the beach, mm. golden light, dude. That's why it gets a full chub because you and I are going to be able to buy a case of them and drink them all and not feel that bad the next morning because they're not loaded with fucking hops. <laughs> eight yeah. percent out. Okay. These are fully crushables, shotgun ready beers that, uh, that anybody that lives in the Midwest will understand the love for the golden light. And look, when I bought them, when I had them in the cart, I was like, oh, this is my, this is me officially getting my Minnesota tag. That's it. I am officially a Midwesterner now, and uh, y'all don't know nothing about that. Right? <laughs> oof, that. It's a good, it's oof, the all for cute. <laughs> Look, I, Moss, Michelob Golden Light is my beer. I give it a full chub just because of the body and the taste and everything, but look. What's Boone offering, huh? What you got uh, over there? Let me, let me, let me go get my offering. I'll be right back. That's a quick, that's okay. a quick my time. That's quick. That's not that's a TV that's time. time. Folks, quick time out. I want to uh just let you guys know about Anchor app. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not gonna say about that. You heard it earlier. 
Um, look, guys, I really appreciate all the listens. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Malls. <laughs> and we're back. And Malls is back. Okay. What so you got? I'm bringing to you here from good old Cigar City Brewing. You know, I, I don't believe I've brought this on the pod before. You know, you can you can you can't triple stamp a double stamp, but you know, I, I'm this is gonna be it's one of my personal favorites. You know, it's a heftier beer. It's a you know IPA, um, and it is just something that I honestly have had a few good nights off of. It's got a nice okay. color in the can. I don't have a, I don't have a cold mug, so <laughs> going straight can. I don't I didn't use a cold mug either. We're going with a Jai. 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 Yeah. This right here. One sip for the people at home. What I love about it is that you know it's a seven percenter, but it's not too hoppy. And for those of you who don't drink many pale ales, it's not too pale ale-y. You know, yeah. you get you get what I mean. And so it, it's that perfect middle ground between I want a heavy beer, but I don't want to taste every single thing that's put in it. You know, yeah. it, it's one of those. It's going to just it's going to be right there on that hard line. And it's personally one of my favorites. I love the can. I love the hops. You know, Jai. So, so do me a favor. Explain the taste in your best way you can. What's the taste so, like of that? I have had it, but I haven't. I can't. I mean. I don't, it might, dude, it might be a year, year and a half since I've had that. It's got, it, where, where is that cigar brewing company? Where is that at? That is located in Tampa, Florida. Okay. That's probably why I'm a little far away from it. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I don't know how I got up here in the old high country, huh? But, um, you know, it has a nice little orange taste. So it's like yeah. a slight little orange taste with it. Um, mm-hmm. Not very... It's it's kind of weird. I would say like a caramel, like a there little it bit, is. like caramel, caramel like, corn orange taste. Yeah, and it's it's very like don't it's not like an overwhelming caramel, you know. Yeah. Uh, or or too much orange, you know. Put put that in with the hops, and it's just a beautiful taste. Um, there you go. If I'm gonna give this one on the Chubbs, you know, the Chubbs are dominant, Chubbs on the Chubbs scale. Um, I'm gonna Close go through. Up. I'm gonna go three quarter chub. So I'm gonna go three quarter chub. Yep. No, now Chubbs and I determined last podcast that you have to let your fingers dangle. Three quarter chub. There it is. No, three quarter chub. <laughs> you did the same thing. You did the same fucking thing Chubbs did. <laughs> you moved the fingers, dude. I love it. I love it. Bro, got to, man. I fucking love it. I love it. I love the beers. Look, I, I got to tell you, this is how great, this is how versatile the golden light is. I just poured, uh, let's see, Raz Cranberry LaCroix into this. Dude. Did not, it changed the color a little bit. Fire. Dude, game change. Raspberry. Sparkling water. Watered down the beer a little bit. I know that's probably not what I'm supposed to do on the podcast, but guess what? It's my fucking podcast. Damn right. Hey, you got you get the you get the hardware behind you to prove it. Yeah, dude. Everybody, check out my new art. New artwork. Dude. Look at me getting a call. Holy shit, that's gonna interrupt the pod. Dude. Hey, let me answer this, okay? I'm gonna keep you on. All right, we're keep we're we're recording. This is brought to you by Hello? Anchor. You want to listen to a podcast? Well, guess what? I got the app and place for you. Anchor app. Beers Brian podcast. Oh, yeah. Okay. No. I did. I saw that. Uh, I want to take a personal moment. Shout out to... uh, Legendary golden girl herself, Miss Betty White. Rest in peace to an absolute legend. Absolute legend. Um, I'm not going to lie. She is one of those people I thought was like immortal in the sense. You know, it's just like, one of those, like I don't think she's aged since like the 90s. 
some shit like that. You know, I look at her like I look at Morgan Freeman. You know, it's like Morgan Freeman, they just, just keep getting better with age, you know. So the the fact that she um, passed away today was uh, took at the heart a little bit, you know, it's OG. So, you know, rest in peace to the one great Bear, uh, Betty White. And, oh, man, yeah, you know, you know, cheers to her. So I'm cold. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, peeps. Uh, you might know me as Jackie Moss. But we chilling. Hardcore chilling. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know what, you know, for all you people in the, uh, hearing this later in the future, remind Jack, hey, this is for future Jack. Yo, do your motherfucking laundry, dog. You got to do it. That's for all you other motherfuckers out there. Do your laundry. Oh, and this is another thing. I got to ask. I just got to ask. Does, do, do people really genuinely enjoy Shit's Creek? Like, I saw all the awards it got. I saw all these things. But like, I'm genuinely curious. Like, is, is that a real fan favorite of a show? Do people really enjoy it? Or is it just, you know, one of those things that's just, they, they got these little computers over here just generating plays and streams. I don't know. Probably not. People probably love it. Uh, I tend, when I think of TV shows, I am a, I'm an outcast on some of these shows. Like, I don't like The Office. And I know some of you would freaking, you know, stream me up for that one. Cause, but no, I just, I never found The Office. It's It's super dry. Super dry for me. And then, uh, I mean, I like a few episodes, like Chili, Chili episode, that was funny. I thought that was funny. So there's a few, you know, to get me, but overall as a show, I can't like rewatch it and whatnot. But uh, Chits Creek, I just, you know, I always think of the, he, the, the main, main guy, I ah, wish I could remember his name. Um, he was in Cheaper by the Dozen. That's how I remember him. I just call him on eyebrows. He's got two caterpillars just right on up there. And I just don't, I don't know. Like, you know, maybe haven't given its fair shake. Yeah, I probably haven't. But um, I guess I'm, I, you know, maybe I should just like really dive into one episode in and I just was not like a fan. You know, some of this dry humor just doesn't really sit with me that well. But I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. I, I, I could be just not knowing of these damn shows, you know, I mean, who that, what, what does my opinion matter? Huh? Yeah. I don't know. You guys let me know or let Brian know. He'll let me know. Boom. Beer's Brian podcast. Um, I'm gonna keep the ball rolling. I'm just gonna keep it roll. Uh, speaking of which, what is up with airline food? Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh man. Oh man. <sighs> yeah. Seriously though, try go get it. Get your foot up. Sorry, checking the phone, peeps. Um, yeah, man, I've been wondering some. Been wondering. Has anyone else had a fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Because that shit is absolutely delicious. I mean, it is so delicious. Like, I I'm such a fan. With some fried peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Like, it's the perfect dessert. You know, after you get done eating your meal, 
and you're like, oh, I want dessert. But it's like that middle ground where your, your dinner hasn't digested yet. And you're like, I'm still very hungry. I'm still very hungry. I'm not very hungry. I'm so hungry. I got there. I just ate. So I want a dessert. Got the sweet tooth. But I need something feeling. You know, ice cream just won't do it. Not solid enough. Fried peanut butter jelly sandwich. Get some mayonnaise on it. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. Mayo and jelly. Eh, no. Nope. Just do it. Get some mayo on that bad boy. Put it on the bread. Get the peanut butter jelly. Throw it on the pan. No problem. No problem. Mm mm mm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Hey, y'all yeah, yeah, come, yeah, come with me. You know, let's go. Let's go out here. Yeah, might as well show y'all around. Show y'all where I'm at. It's pretty, pretty killer view. Might be a little loud. Yeah. This is where I'm at, folks. Good old King Street. We're booming today. We are booming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Not, 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 not too booming, actually. All the students are gone. So you just got, you know, true boonies like me. We're here. Other than that, not, not too much going on. So we shall definitely see. Um, but yeah, you know, that's where I'm at. It's the old apartment condo, but you know, who am I talking? I ain't daddy Warbucks over here. You know, I used to smoke a lot of cigarettes, and not a lot. I would get a pack occasionally, but it was a lot for me. So I've recently started really getting on the old Zen, Zen pack, Sensation. Now, I'm not going to show it to you. I'm just going to talk about it because it ain't a sponsor yet. You feel me? But uh, this stuff right here, my favorite, tobaccoless nicotine pouches. Does the job. A little overwhelming, but... Now you get the point. Hey, B Train! Holy shit. Look, I just want to say shout out to Moss because not many people can just jump right in and uh and handle a podcast like that man's just handled, okay? Folks out there, I don't really know what Moss said, but guess what? It's all staying in, okay? Because I know my mans, okay? And shout out to that company. They need to sponsor us, okay? Whoever I walked in on. Uh, look, when it comes to your spouse's happiness, it's number one, okay? You treat them yeah. always. Yeah. You put them at the top, okay? That's why I had to answer the phone call, folks. Look, we got plans and stuff's happening and whatever and look uh that's that's probably a topic for a different pod and i didn't realize i was so far i didn't realize i spent so much time away moss what else you got for me you got anything else you want to talk about dude i i talked to the people while you're gone i told them about my um fried pb and j sandwiches um how it's perfect Ooh. dessert Yo, so I, that. I, sh I showed them the good old boon where I'm at, where I'm stationed. So I showed them downtown. Uh, dude, love it. And then, you know, I just, there's a little bit of blankness there, but, you know, it, it wasn't bad. Uh, I just kept on. Okay, you know, dude. Look. I, I also got to talk about the fact that, you know, there might be a different, for a different pot, but Sean Mannion's starting Sunday. But, you know, that's, just, that's another thing. That's another thing. You know what? When this pod comes out, Moss, we're gonna we're gonna be okay with Sean Manion starting. Yeah, it's okay, dude. It's okay. We're not gonna worry about it. We can uh, we can hope for the best, you know. I That's all we can do. I just won't kill a Mun. I do. Look, I do too. I do too. I wanted Mun to start. Um, all we can do is love the Vikings and then play for next year. You know, at this point. At this point, it, uh, yeah. So, there it is. Excuse me. Atta boy. All right, Moss. It's been a lot of fun, dude. Enjoy that beer. I'm probably gonna crack over another one because I don't know if we're going anywhere for New Year's Eve now. Um, but look, all right, it is. Yeah. Look, I love you, brother. I uh, I wish you nothing but the best and all success, all twenty. 
22. Absolutely. And, uh, we're, we're obviously folks are recording this in the uh in the past of when it comes out, but That's right. Moss, I'm excited to see you up here with the family in Minnesota for the weekend. I am like Pumped. ecstatic for that shit. So I'm glad we had a good time. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, brother. Look, cheers to but- you. Everybody on YouTube, we're cheersing. Much love, Moss, and I will talk to you later. Okay. Enjoy the night, nah, brother. Absolutely. Peace.